and I'm not gonna um, make anything bad like that happen ever again. I'm not gonna do anything like that ever again. And I'm gonna um, go on the right path as a person and become a better man. Well guys, I'm getting fed up. This new age of content creators are ruining the things I love on this website and really the things I love on the internet in general, and I won't stand for it. Back in the golden days of YouTube, we would get one bad apology video maybe once a year. Sometimes it'd be like every 18 months. It wasn't a guarantee that we would get one every calendar year, but it was a pretty safe bet. This made them special. However, these days, it seems like every three weeks, some big content creator is putting out a video that takes the cake as the new worst apology video on YouTube. It's like the most unstable job ever. These videos are constantly being churned out and there's always a new worst one to make all of its predecessors look like an actual halfway decent apology. And today we're going to be talking about this month's entry. Now if you don't know who Neon is, well then maybe you should just go ahead and set this one out. Like seriously, click off while you still can. There's nothing positive that's going to come into your life from finding out who this guy is. I'm not even joking. Okay, seriously, do yourself a favor. But if for some reason you hate yourself and you want to stick around, well, then Neon is a streamer who, to me, has recently kind of blown up out of nowhere. Maybe I'm just out of the loop. I don't really watch streamers. But my experience with this guy was that I had literally never heard of him ever in any context or any situation. And then basically overnight, he was getting mentioned alongside the biggest streaming names on the internet. Like, seriously, this guy seemed to have come out of nowhere. What happened? How can we reverse it? To put it short, this guy is basically a worse Jack Doherty. His content is basically just going around being a nuisance starting arguments, manufacturing drama, just trying to get conflict on camera for his streams. Don't know why that's such a popular form of streaming these days, but I'm really hoping it passes pretty soon. But right now we've got to deal with it, and my god, conflict on camera Neon has managed to capture. After doing a little bit of digging on this guy, it seems like there's no level of depravity that he's not willing to stoop to for internet content. The man made like a four-part series a few years ago faking his own death. Like he really went all in on it. So the stuff he does these days, like going around making fun of children for their parents working at Walmart, is really not all that surprising. But I feel like even when you know a content creator is not a good person, you still expect them to have this sort of sense of self-preservation. Like when you have this kind of following, you know the kind of stuff that you can't say even if you might want to say it? Because you can't just fully out yourself as the worst person alive. With this kind of content, you've got to walk a line between being a terrible person but still not being too terrible that 13-year-olds like you. Neon... Uh, did not do that. And it's gotten him in some hot water. Five days ago, Neon decided to go on stream and do something a little bit silly. And when I say a little bit silly, I mean criminal. For some reason, Neon decided to bring this kid onto his stream. He was talking to him in a Discord call. I'm gonna play the clip. Uh, there's gonna be a whole lot of censoring, okay? Don't worry, we'll go through it at the end. But I'm a little bit worried on what YouTube might do for this clip being in my videos, so, uh, I'm taking the proper precautions. What the fuck? I tried to be nice to you, bro. What the f up? I'll beat the shit out of you and your fat girlfriend, bro. What the f That fat s I'll smack her in her face, too. And I'll got him out of dox your entire family. What's your name? You're not doing shit. What's Shut the f up. Suck my What's your bro. You a What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Kizzy, bro. My name's Kizzy. It says what's your, it in my what's name, your first name, All I need is your first name. Don't I don't care. You know, I'm an internet name. warrior. What's your name? What's your, what's your first name, bitch? What's your first name, bitch? Tell me your first name. See, I'll give you my Miami. I don't fuck you. You're 10 years old. I'll fuck you. Please fucking please. I swear to God, shut up. Okay, so if you couldn't catch any of that, don't worry. We're gonna do a play-by-play -play here. So I wasn't really able to find the context of what was happening before all of this started. Based off of the really high intellect discussion that's going on here, though, I don't think it really matters. You know, I don't think it was gonna add a whole lot to this discussion, if I'm being honest. So if you didn't really catch the end of this video, your first thought might be, okay, well, this kid should probably not be talking to people like this on the internet. And yeah, you're right, okay? Not gonna really argue with you there, this kid's being a little shit. But when you're young and you look up to people like Neon and you think the best way to get famous is to attack and harass people, well, not really that surprising that stuff like this happens. So sure, this kid's being a little stinker, but he's a kid. Neon is an adult. And what he says at the end, which you might have not caught because I had to cut so much out and they're just screaming over each other, is absolutely disgusting. I don't know how to word this to where I don't just instantly get banned on YouTube, but uh, basically, after threatening to dox this kid and his entire family. He says that he's going to assault this kid in a certain manner until a certain part of his body 
bleeds. Are we all on the same page? Hopefully. So obviously, and rightfully, this did not go down very well with the internet. You've got a huge influential streamer who's an adult making threats like this to a kid. Neon was dogpiled on Twitter and by basically anybody with a brain, and it actually led to him getting banned on kick. Which is what led Neon to make his apology video. Yeah, don't for one second believe that this guy is sorry for anything that he's done. He has literally wished death upon people in the past. He was banned on kick because this was too bad of a look for them not to, and they probably told him you have to make an apology video before we unban you. Which, by the way, after this apology video dropped, he was unbanned. What a surprise. So now, after five minutes of yapping, it was important yapping though, I think. You need to know the context for this. It's finally time to watch this award-winning apology. What's going on guys? Um, I wanted to um, sit here and genuinely talk to you guys about what's been going on these past few days and um, really recap and apologize for everything that I've done and the mistakes I've made as a person, you know, in my career I've made a lot of mistakes and I've made a lot of, um, you know, bad decisions. Neon, buddy. I think that might honestly be the biggest understatement ever made by a human. You've made some mistakes, that's what you're deciding to classify them as? Mistakes? I mean, I guess he's right. Faking your death for like a week straight is a pretty easy mistake to make. Happens all the time to me. But, um, that was by far one of my worst things I've ever said or done and I want to sincerely apologize for what I said. That was not something that comes out of a person like me's mouth ever. What? Neon, what do you mean? Are you claiming you were possessed or something? Was that a body clone? Is somebody impersonating you? What do you mean? Something like that doesn't come out of somebody like you. You're the one who said it. It clearly does. This is not even an apology. Yeah, guys, that thing I said, the thing that there's video evidence of me saying it, that's not me. You guys know me. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I let a a kid get in my head and when he talked crazy to me I just I blacked out and I didn't realize what I was doing and I want to sincerely apologize Neon Dude, just, just take accountability here. Stop trying to make excuses. You blacked out from a 12-year-old calling your girlfriend fat? How do you say that with a straight face? That's the most hilarious thing I've ever heard. Officer, look, you don't understand. He said that I couldn't crank 90s like a true OG, so I had to kill him. I blacked out. I'm sorry. I saw red. This is ridiculous. I'm not that type of guy. I'm not that type of person. And um, I understand why I got banned, and I understand the reasoning for it and everything. And I know everyone's happy and stuff, but... Um, I want to say I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm really, really sorry. And I want to shout out to um, Kick for giving me another chance and, and um, you know, always being there for me. I really appreciate you guys and all the loyals, everyone that slid for me and said all these things about me. Wow, what a guy. This is who everybody should strive to be. In his apology video for attacking a child, he gives a shout out to all the people who defended him for attacking a 10 year old. Neon, you're a real class act and try to um, make the band less and everything. I really appreciate you guys. I really do. And I wanted to um, say this was an eye opener for me in my, in my eyes. That's your forehead, buddy. Um, and I'm not gonna um, make anything bad like that happen ever again. I'm not gonna do anything like that ever again. And I'm gonna um, go on the right path as a person and become a better man. Yeah, so a super solid apology here. Doesn't even really address what he's apologizing for. Just says he's not gonna make anything bad happen again. Doesn't even address why people might be mad at him for saying something like this. Or explaining why he understands why he shouldn't have said it. No, this is very obviously the result of an email from a kick higher up saying, Hey man, make a one minute long apology so we don't look like total idiots unbanning you. Didn't really work though. So after subjecting myself to this nonsense, I wanted to see what Neon was up to since uploading this video, and his most recent upload is a video titled Neon Gets Pressed by Didi Osama. Now if you don't know who Didi Osama is, he's a young rapper out of New York, and a while back Neon made fun of his dead brother, which this far into the video should not be a surprise. Now we're not going to be watching too much of this, but I did want to show this because guys, I think this might be the funniest video on YouTube. Apparently Neon wanted to squash this beef, so he decided to meet up with Didi Osama in person, and the fact that Neon has not deleted every single single piece of social media he has after uploading this video is kind of insane to me. And the fact that he even uploaded this video to begin with is even crazier. I want to I wanna sincerely apologize, bro. Yo, look, that's oh. all it was. That's yeah. all it is, bro. Nah. I ain't gonna front. Look. Yeah, no, I'm actually scared of you don't need to bro, be scared. All bro. I'm gonna tell you, babe boy, is watch out, watch out. let them talk. Yo, babe boy. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't use your hands. Bro, they're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yo, 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 I don't yo, want yo, nobody listen, like, yo, listen, okay, okay, just move. Okay. Listen yeah, all right, my bad. Listen to him. He's respecting, bro. I know what he means, bro. Yeah, I, I, I know. I want to listen. Listen, I just want to tell you this, babe boy. Like, you like, you don't know where I come from. Like, yeah. you you not from the streets, babe boy. Like, mm -hmm. you use really like 
You was really a nerd, babe boy. You was really a nerd, babe boy. Okay, so look, I don't really plan on finding myself in a situation similar to this anytime soon, but if I did, I don't think the term baby boy is what I would use in addressing someone I'm trying to intimidate. But after watching this video, I don't think there's a single better thing he could have called this guy. Having a guy two years younger than you who's not even a legal adult call you baby boy while you nod and agree is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Neon is the definition of a keyboard internet warrior. This is really what the entire video is though. Didi Osama will say one thing, Neon will profusely apologize for it and look around nervously. And it's kind of just that over and over again for like 10 minutes. And then they go to some sort of diner it looks like and he has to apologize to a lot of other people. At one point Neon starts getting treated like an actual child like Didi Osama is patting his head and stuff. It gets kind of weird. Like I said, I don't know why Neon would upload this. I don't really understand understand this guy's persona. It's like everything I've seen of him has either been him being the most obnoxious, aggressive person imaginable, or stuff like this. I feel like you've got to pick one because these two sides don't really coincide. Well guys, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this whole apology situation? Are you buying into it? Do you really think that Neon is trying to be a better man? I think that this is nothing but a little PR campaign to try and get his streaming career back on track. Not that I think any of his fans actually care about what he says. I just think that Kick is trying to clean up their image a little bit recently. Do I see that working? No, not really. But I think that's all this is. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.